Natural gas has shown the beauty of the markets. We were targeting at 7.2, 7.3 levels, I told you last week, and unfortunately, it did not give any opportunity to any of us to enter into buy levels. It opened with a gap up, achieved further highs at 7.3, and then consistently traded in red. That is the irony there. Yes, we were expecting these levels, but it is not given the opportunity now. What to expect next week? Which position we should take in order to profit? Whether it is going to break. On the downside, whether it is going to rally from here, we will see with the help of charts and indicators towards the end. I will give you the trading strategy and trading levels for next week. Do watch till the end. Do listen to it carefully. Do note down the levels. And remember, do not forget to press the bell icon, which will keep you updated with the daily updates, daily targets, which I share very early in the day with the Asia session. So do like, share, subscribe and comment. Do press the bell icon. Let's start. First, we'll look into daily charts. On the daily charts, you'll find consistently higher lows are seen it is trying to trade in this channel that is one part to it and definitely if you just ignore this noise here which is a breakout if you just ignore this noise you will find that it is trying to trade in this channel so one thing is this trying to trade in this channel second is a expanding triangle so next week once you see it trading above this zone now look at this carefully once you see it trading in fact above 6.4 definitely you can expect that we are looking forward to another bullish week and then you can expect that it is looking forward to 6.8 7 and in fact 7.2 levels can be seen in fact it can rise further to that a dollar levels cannot be denied for ng it can run very strongly on the upside once it tries to trade bullish once it goes bullish first target to, should be 7 and then it can try to run till towards 7.8 8 levels this is one part to it on the daily charts now look at the weekly chart on the weekly charts, it has appeared that it has achieved the highs for the month there. Also, at the same time, the lows for the week are also see very beautifully well aligned here. Second part to this observation is trading below 6. You can go short and then you can expect 5.8 and below that, definitely we are looking forward to another bearish week which might take it till towards $5.5 levels. I don't expect that to happen but yes, achieving $6 levels, the possibility of which exists or rather at max 5.9 levels it can reverse any point of time give the same size of candle taking it further highs and it can in fact achieve 7.5 7.6 levels that is one probability so in fact if you see it trading at 5.9 5.85 you can buy there again and possibility of it to rise exists from there below 5.8 below 5.9 certainly you can expect that it may try to act little bit bearish here because it will be breaking this zone so 6 to 5.8 do not trade till the time it trades above 6 certainly more bullishness can be seen that is one part to it now let's have a look at the monthly charts on the monthly chart the story is little bit different it has seen the higher highs and if you make a parallel to it probably there is a possibility that it can try to achieve 5.5 and then close the month at around 6.5 levels that is one probability because see this is first red candle, a smaller body and then this third body can be further smaller like this and hence you have to stay cautious and around these levels see it has achieved higher highs, it is achieving higher lows. That is what probably appears that it may get a very good support on the 5.5, 5.4 levels below that. See the last three candles. So on the monthly chart it appears that it may give you a red candle and it is trying to give you same body so in fact even if it goes to drop even if it drops from here achieves 5.2 levels it may come back again towards the end of the week at around 6 and 6.2 levels so this is one observation at the same time we must not forget that any reversal or rise beyond 6.6 .6 should be taken as a bullish entry and then it can try to keep on continue to rise from there so this is on the monthly charts we have seen already the weekly charts we have seen the daily charts also now let's have a look with the help of indicators what are the indicators are suggesting here and if you look at the indicators you can see now see the width of the Bollinger Bands and see the positioning of the candles it is trading on the first half or upper half of the median of the Bollinger Bands indicating that it is still trying to trade bullish and if it tries to break below $6 levels certainly next week you can try to initiate a short entry expect 5.5 5.7 5.5 and then below now see this is closed perfectly at the 20 period moving average which is 6.1 and yes on the upside the 50 period moving average is given it a resistance or the daily charts at 6.6 6.7 zone this is one part to it next observation that look at the direction moment is looking forward to a bullish crossover here i'll wait for it to cross over the stochastic 
which was trading over overbought now it has entered into oversold zone it may trade couple of days and then stochastic is certainly oversold here and probably it may look forward to a rise at the same time uh, the magd is trying to converge crossover for a sell i'll wait for it to cross over till that time probably one can remain bullish and the rsi is looking downwards here on the daily charts now if you look at the weekly charts here on the weekly charts important is that it is perfectly reversed from the 20 period 20 weeks moving average at 7.3 now trading in fact below the 50 period moving average and trying to look forward to the bottom of the bollinger bands i'll wait for it to happen till the time probably we are looking forward to higher highs higher lows and trade within this channel and if you look at the dire directional movement is crossing over for a bullish move and hence i will consider i will still consider this as bullish see the stochastic which has oversold since last couple of weeks now it is looking up first probably couple of good big candles can be seen green candles can be seen and it may try to enter into 7.88 levels also very much possible these are markets directional movement is bearish the stochastic is rsi is still looking downwards here on the weekly charts now look at the monthly candle the lows are done the highs are done probably it can again reverse again on the upside there is one part to it we have seen on the charts but at the same time look it is trading with a divergence on 20 50 100 period moving average indicating it to be strongly extremely bullish also look at this this is trading in this expanding triangle the directional movement is trying to converge it has not yet crossed over it is still in the bullish zone probably it may start to diverge the stochastic which was trading near to overbought levels is now looking downwards one more week and then we'll see how it behaves probably if even if it has to trade bearish this is the last week for which it may and then a bounce back can be expected i don't think so that it may trade bearish at all but these are markets beyond you and me i am not the one who runs market now why it can trade bearish is because of this look at the macd the macd is on the verge of a crossover on the monthly charts and this is a bearish cross if it crosses over for next couple of months we may see it trading bearish with a narrow movement and then slowly it can rise again the rsi is looking downwards here indicating little bearishness now we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators time for us to define the levels and the strategy for next week yes just stick to the levels and definitely you can benefit even see hardly matters if i am bullish or hardly matters if i am bearish if i just stick to the levels definitely it will give you a next opportunity to profit if it is on the sell side enter a sell position if it is on the buy side enter a buy position keep the targets as the next milestone and definitely it will achieve and you can secure your profits re-enter the trade again if you see it trading in the same direction as you can again if it is dropping from there if it starts dropping from there you can sell there so keep trading as per the levels and definitely you can profit this is one part to it now next is what to do next week that is the most important question and yes you can buy ng here at 6.15 beyond 6.15 stay long i will expect 6.25 and then six point beyond 6.25 directly we may see it lending to 6.4 and then 6.5 6.6 now i have again i am again maintaining again telling you this is the most important zone 6.4 to 6.6 beyond this it may try to hit 6.75 and seven dollar levels the seven dollar levels is the next important resistance zone beyond that you can expect 7.2 7.35 and then 7.5 7.8 levels can also be expected these are markets anything and everything is possible at the same time when you see on the downside where to sell yes you can sell there at 6 rather i will say not at 6 but 5.95 but remember you will only get the first support at 5.9 this is a major major support and then 5.82 this is the next major support if it draws below this you can expect more bearishness which may try to take it till towards 5.7 and below that you can expect further more drop which will take it till towards 5.55 and 5.4 levels now see these are markets anything is possible though but i don't expect it to drop below at mix till 5.9 5.8 i don't expect that this zone should be break or but this if this breaks certainly it is going to act bearish so you have to be cautious of these levels and then 5.4 levels below that anyway sky is the limit on the downside it is going to break hardly to 5.2 and 5 dollar levels very strong 
very strong very very strong levels on the downside yes on the monthly charts it appears that the macd is looking forward to a crossover for sell but at the same time on the chart it appears that the highs are done probably it is looking forward to a little drop and then you can expect that a sell entry below 5.95 certainly will give you good profits so take your trades accordingly just stick to the levels do not go as far as my bias whether it is bullish or bearish i will also recommend you to just stick to the levels abide by the levels and trade accordingly trade profitably have a great profitable trading week ahead yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you can join my mentorship batch the next batch starts on 28th of november be a part of it or else be a part of my signals group where you can trade as per my signals and definitely profit thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead reach out to me for more details via telegram or email both mentioned in the channel and video description thank you